SACD is still alive, but just kind of limping along. So I don't know all the dates of the history of SACD, but after Sony and Philips in, what was it, 1985, four, came out with the compact disc, they jointly developed it, they kept that around for, gosh, long, long time. And as these big companies do, they look for ways to, because, I mean, Sony went out and they bought uh, Sony uh, Music and they've, they've invested not only tons in, in building up a format like the compact disc, the CD player, but they invested in all, you know, in owning the musical rights and stuff. And they like to get money back on their investment, if you will. <laughs> I guess who doesn't, right? So after any a number of decades of the CD, they wanted something new. They wanted something better. And they knew they could do something much better than the compact disc, which was and is limited to 44.1 kilohertz and 16 bits. And we, and we know that we can do 192.24, uh, we can get far greater dynamic range, much higher sampling rates, and we can do that just through standard DVD discs and uh, PCM kind of recording. But a better way of recording, a much more analog-like and better sounding way to record music that's a closer cross to d uh, PCM, pulse code modulation, and analog is what's called DSD. That's the trade name that Sony came up with, uh, which is uh, Direct Stream Digital, and it is based on what's called PDM, Pulse Density Modulation. It's a one-bit system where we just have one bit moving up and down in, in, in greater, tighter clusters, which make for a higher voltage, or looser clusters that uh, it, it is is down in the in the weeds you know the the looser the cluster so you have you know one and it's all running on a clock just like any kind of digital system you know boom 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 but where pulse code modulation has a number of different kinds of bits and in a kind of a code and if you if you were to look at it on on a scope you can see I don't know if you can see this scope here, but you can kind of see that sort of waveform right there, where it's, you can't really tell what's going on. It's just, it looks like a random bunch of bits, but pulse density modulation, DSD, when you look at it, you can actually see the waveform because as the waveform, as, as the music gets louder, the, the density of the pulses gets, closer together and we kind of see a picture of the music and you can almost directly play that into a set of speakers into an amplifier without any kind of DAC involved. So it's, it's a much better sounding format and I am a big advocate of DSD. When, when Gus Skinnis and Octave Records, when we record here at PS Audio in Boulder, we have a, a whole studio up there, just a state-of-the-art studio. It's all DSD, and it's all done on the Sonoma mastering system and recording system, which is all DSD-based and developed by Sony to make SACDs. So that's how we're going to bring it back, okay? So now you know my preference, DSD any day over PCM. The problem with DSD is you just don't see it very often, and a normal CD player won't play it. So Sony came up with a new format that they called SACD, and they did that in order to re-release their catalog of music and re-energize the sales of, of, of audio. It kind of went over, but didn't do too well. And so they, they hung with it for, I don't know, 10, 20 years, and then abandoned it. And you can still get SACDs made. Anyway, I don't want to get this, it's, it's too long. The format 
that SACD uses is DSD. So when you ask, do I like SACD or DSD, they are one and the same thing. So the only difference between just pure DSD and an SACD, which has pure DSD on it as the main source of music, SACDs also have a CD layer. And the reason they did that was so that they could cover all their bases. So if you bought an SACD, but you didn't have an SACD player, you could pop it into your CD player and it would play just fine, but you wouldn't get DSD. If you put it into an SACD player, and here's, here's one that, we're, look at this beast, isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. We're, we're, we're working on our new transport, and that's, that's the SACD uh, drawer and beast that, uh, man, this is a gorgeous drive. But anyway, we're working on that. That's what an SACD, a really cool SACD drive looks like. So SACD and DSD are the same thing, just has a little bit more to it because we can also play CDs on it. And DSD, that's the best sounding digital form of audio, period, end of story.